YouTube, what's going on, man? It's your boy, Bullbine, and welcome back to another play review on the channel. Hope you guys are having an incredible day. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and check out the new Footies SBC card for none other than Sadio Mane. Mane is a 96 rated card. He has high medium work rates, right footed with five star skill moves and five star weak foot. Now, we do see a lot of versatility with the card, which is always really nice to see. He can play the center forward, left mid, striker, and left wing positions. Now, if we go ahead and look at his in game stats in a bit more detail, we can see that the card is pretty well rounded from an attacking perspective. The pace and dribbling are obviously going to be the two standout stats he does have 97 pace overall with 96 acceleration and 97 sprint speed now they did also go ahead and give him the quick step play style plus which in my personal opinion is a fantastic addition for the card whether you play him up top or out wide i think that he's just going to be so quick in game now the 94 shooting is going to be a really important stat for the card because we do need him to be very clinical now they did go ahead and give him the finesse shot play style plus which is a fantastic play style plus for him to have he does also have the five star weak foot 95 attacking positioning 96 finishing should be very clinical now he does have 96 shot power but only 89 long shots so maybe you can go ahead and give him a chemistry style to help out with that now if you do want to go ahead and incorporate him as a playmaker the 90 passing and 95 dribbling are going to be two crucial parts to his game now for the most part he does have some pretty solid passing stats but it isn't anything too crazy 95 vision 90 crossing and 93 short pass i do still expect this passing to be quite accurate in game and when you go ahead and pair that with his 95 dribbling the chance creation should be quite solid now keep in mind boise does have the five star skill moves with his 96 agility 96 balance and 97 reactions he should be very smooth on the ball now i think that maybe the technical play style plus would have been a really nice addition for the card to maybe make him a little bit more desirable now as you guys know they did go ahead and give him the trickster and the relentless as the other two play style pluses and in my personal opinion that is a bit of an l and then last but not least and another huge part to his game the 87 fiscal now he does have 93 stamina which for an attacker is okay and then he does also have 82 strength and 87 aggression so you can most definitely expect them to feel quite strong both on and off the ball now if we jump on over to footbin boys we can see that sadio mane does have 10 different play styles he has the finesse shot trickster quick step and relentless play style pluses and then he does also have the chip shot power shot pinged pass rapid flare and first touch now he can have the controlled controlled explosive and mostly explosive acceleration types and when it comes to chemistry styles i do think that the marksman is probably your best option with the marksman chemistry style he is going to have the controlled explosive acceleration type but it's going to give him 97 shooting overall really helping out with his long shots he is going to have 97 long shots 99 shot power and 99 finishing it's also going to give the card 98 dribbling which is a fantastic upgrade for the card 99 reactions 99 ball control and 99 dribbling as that subcategory and then last but not least boys and another really important upgrade for the card it's also going to give him 91 physical he is going to have 90 strength and 87 aggression which is a pretty solid upgrade as always boys if you guys do enjoy these fc24 player reviews go ahead and do me a huge favor if you guys can leave a like on today's video and also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new it would be greatly appreciated this is a team we're going to be using in foot champions to test out the new Mane card. We're going to be playing him as the left sided center forward in the 4 3 2 1 formation. So, without further ado, boys, let's go ahead and jump into game number one and let's see how good this card really is. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number one using the new Sadio Mane card. And I must say, I'm actually really excited to test him out. Now, I do think that maybe EA could have juiced the card a little bit more, but I do think that for the price, he's going to be a pretty solid player. Now, first things first, you guys know how we like to start every player review, and that is by testing out the card's dribbling, probably the standout stat. And as you guys can see, he does keep it very close. Nice left stick dribbling right there. And with the marksman chemistry style, he does get a bit better reactions and ball control. So I think that that's going to be a really important upgrade. A little cross diagonal to kick things off. Mane, left stick dribbling right here. Might just go for a finesse shot. It's a little bit further out. Oh, boy, Sadio Mane. I mean, that is such a good attempt. The way that, like, Schmeichel dove kind of confused me. Now, as that left side is center forward, we want the best of both worlds with the card. We want to create a lot of chances with him, but we also need him to be very clinical. Now, very early on in the game, we can maybe go ahead and spring into a counterattack. This guy is playing a pretty high line, so I think that it's best to maybe just try to get Mane in behind. That's good attacking positioning. I might actually whip it in. Weghorst is waiting. Sadio Mane, a good ball, but Stones with a really good header out. I do think if you want to go ahead and play him out wider as like a left side to center forward, maybe you can give him a chem style to help out with his passing. Now, this guy is defending quite well at the moment, so I might try to incorporate our fullbacks a little bit more just to overload this left-hand side. He's gone for another offside trap. That's really interesting. Nice cut it back, Mane. Little acceleration boost after the step over. He does get a bit of jam. It's a good cutback. We should be scoring, man. That's unlucky. But that is most definitely what he brings to the team. There is a bit of physicality to him as well. Five-star weak foot finesse shot. Schmeichel, I'm pretty sure he moved his goalkeeper. Now, this guy does love the acceleration boost with Correa. So, we got to keep that in mind. Mane ball roll. Good left stick dribbling. Still with it. I'm going to use the trickster right here. And maybe go on a volley. Ooh, 
Dumfries with the good block, man. The trickster sometimes can be a little bit effective. I might just run it down the line. I feel like he might uh, expect it. Mane, good. Nice initial touch as well. Great acceleration after the touch. I'm going to go near post. It's a lovely finish, man. So far, his first touch has been incredible. And when you go ahead and pair that with his acceleration boost that he gets with the quick step playstyle, plus I feel like it's very effective. Nice, good ball. White horse. Need a little bit of support. Here's Mane. A little reverse elastico. Five-star weak foot. I feel like my aim maybe could have been a little bit better in that situation. That's good. Mane. Straight into Pushkas. Decent ball. Ball roll. Finesse shot. Pushkas. We needed that, boys. It comes from a finesse shot from range, but Mane's passing, although it is a little bit inconsistent, he can most definitely create a few chances. Robertson. Nice little touch right there around Denzel Dumfries. Now, he is a man short at the back. Mane. Good left stick dribbling. I'm going to go Trivella near post. I mean, boys, the finishing in and around the box has been quite consistent so far. That's another great finish. I think that the standout shooting stat so far has probably been his attacking positioning. Picks up really good pockets of space. All right, boys, here we are jumping into game number two. And so far, so good. We're coming up against Pedri, Dani Olmo, Guler, Ferran Torres. It's a very good team. Now, in order to complete the SBC, there are three different requirements. It's going to cost you roughly 170,000 coins to complete. And for that price, you guys are getting a pretty solid player in game. Now, this guy might actually attack quite a bit with that Zanetti card. So we might have a bit more space with Mane. I might test out another finesse shot. Ball roll finesse shot. Lucio with a fantastic block. Take two. Sadio Mane. Oh man, the flight of the ball is perfect. That's a great finish. Mane. A little bit of left stick dribbling right here. I feel like this guy doesn't really like to defend against left stick dribbling, so we are going to try to incorporate that as much as possible with Mane. I think that the extra reactions, ball control, and then dribbling subcategory goes a long way. Maybe a cross diagonal. Sanetti. I think we're on side. We should be on side in this situation. It's a lovely ball. We got Mane in support. Finesse shot. Oh, it's a decent attempt, man. Maybe he could have done with a better angle in that situation. Pushkas. We got Mane making that run. Trying to get Bernardo Silva a little bit further up the pitch. Mane, good acceleration, boys. He's so quick with the quick step. Off of the crossbar right there. I think that I put a little bit too much power behind that. So that's definitely my bad. And I just feel like he's one of those players that definitely suit this year's style of play. White course over the top. It's usually the other way around, but we play it into uh, Mane. That's a lovely touch. Ball roll. Go around the goalkeeper. That's got to be a penalty, man. Good dribbling again. I love how responsive he is as a player. Like, as soon as you perform, like, a skill move or that extra touch, I mean, he does it instantly. Good ball. Mane. A little bit of space right here. Ball roll. Finesse shot. The consistency. It's good, man. That's another lovely finish. If you can put enough power behind that ball roll. Finesse shot, man. He scores the majority of them. A little bit of tiki taka right here. Zanetti in a very advanced position. Mane. Trickster. <laughs> That was clean, man. That was clean, but it wasn't very effective, was it? Now, Mane is a little bit further back at the moment. Silva, just going to carry the ball forward. White course, Mane on the overlap, play it to him. Ball roll goes around the goalkeeper, and that is another fantastic finish. Honestly, with the quick step play style plus and the rapid play style, he's been one of the quickest players in FC24. Rodri, good. Simple ball, Mane, touch, touch. I might just go for a cutback. It's a very good ball, man. And White Horse is going to find the back of the net. And again, man, he can score a lot of goals. He can also create a lot of chances. Really important for a left-sided center forward. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is us using the new Footies Mane card in a few games of Foot Champions. And I will say, a really good SBC to go ahead and complete. I think that the card possesses a lot of really good qualities to make him a fantastic attacker in-game. Now, if we go ahead and dissect his in-game stats in a bit more detail, the 97 pace for me personally was the standout stat for the card. I love the addition of the quick step play style plus and with the rapid play style he's probably one of the quickest players in the game i mean down that left hand side it's just so difficult to catch up to him the acceleration boost that you get after like a step over after a specific skill move was very effective now the 94 shooting was a really important stat for the card and it was the main reason why we went ahead and gave him the marksman chem style as that left side is center forward he does have a lot of opportunities for long shots and with the marksman he does have 97 long shots and 99 shot power and with the finesse shot play style plus his long shots were really consistent the finishing in and around the box was really good as well now the 90 passing was an okay stat for the card i will say he isn't the craziest of passers in game but with his 93 short pass and 81 long pass for the most part it was still quite accurate i think if you want to go ahead and play him out wider maybe like as a left side of center forward maybe you can give him a chem style to help out with that especially if you do want to go ahead and implement him as a playmaker but like i said for the most part it was still pretty good the 95 dribbling another standout stat for the card alongside his 97 pace with his 96 agility and 96 balance he was very quick and swift on the ball and i love the fact that he does have five star skill moves 
Now, I wish that the card had the technical play style. Plus, I think that that honestly would have taken him to a whole nother level. But because they did give him the Trickster and the Relentless, it does bring down like the desirability of the card just a little bit. And then last but not least, boys, and another really important part to his game, the 87 physical. Now, with the Marksman, he does have 90 strength and 87 aggression. And for the most part in game, I mean, he was quite strong on the ball. I think that he's more of a Jamie player. He gets a lot of things to go his way. Overall, boys, I'm going to go ahead and give the card a 9.5 out of 10 rating. I really enjoyed using him as the left side of center forward in the 4 3 2 1 formation. Now, in order to complete the SBC, there are three different requirements. It's going to cost you roughly 180,000 coins. And for that price, you guys are getting a very good player in game. There's a lot of versatility. You can also go ahead and play him at the striker position. Now, I do think that he's probably best suited as like a left side of center forward or maybe as like a left wing, depending on the formation that you run. The technical side to his game is really good, especially when it comes to his shooting and his dribbling. His passing does lack just a little bit. If you do prefer your smaller, more intricate type of players, then I do think that Mane is going to be a pretty solid SBC for you to go ahead and complete. If you do have the fodder and you are looking for a smaller, more intricate type of player that is really good on the ball, or maybe if you are looking for a super sub, I think that Mane is a perfect option and I would highly recommend him. But that is going to be the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, let me know by leaving a like. Comment down below what player you guys would like to see next in another player review. And then also consider subscribing to the channel if you are new. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I've been your boy Boobah and I'll catch you guys in another one very, very soon. Peace.